Moving to San Diego, California does not need to be overwhelming. Once you realize there's a lot more to the area than just the downtown and the beaches, we've done it ourselves. You can find the perfect place to live even though this county is huge. It really does offer a lot of different lifestyles, price points, microclimate zones, and neighborhoods. So what we're gonna do is bring up the map and work our way around the whole county, showing you all the different areas, giving you our perspective on what they have to offer, and covering the things that we'd wanna know about if we were making a move. Hey, by the end of this video, you're gonna have a good visual representation of just how far things are away from each other and what the different areas are like. By going through this full tour, you're gonna be able to identify some spots that you're interested in, well, at least where to start, so we can help you narrow down those best places for you and your family. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back. I am Lenore Anderson, one half of a father-daughter realtor team right here in San Diego. If this is your first time to this channel and you're looking for honest, need to know info about buying, selling, investing, and most importantly, living here in San Diego, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you are notified every time that we put out a new video with details from pros who have done exactly what you're trying to do. Hey, we've helped folks for over 50 years combined buy, sell, and invest here in San Diego, along with doing it ourselves. So if you are thinking of making a move anywhere in the San Diego area, reach out to us. Schedule a quick call through the link down below in the description or the pinned first comment. Feel free to email or text us as well. Hey, any way that works best for you. So let's jump into the map on this video so you can see how big the area is, how far away things are. We'll check out some of the bigger cities in each of those areas, ultimately. Knowing the major freeways and all of the different parts of San Diego will help determine where you're gonna live because moving to San Diego is all about your lifestyle and location. And these are the things that we're gonna be covering. San Diego's regions are sectioned off by freeways. You've got coastal neighborhoods like down in South Bay and along the North Coastal area. You have inland valleys like East County and North Inland County where you can drive out to our mountains and desert areas. You've got a ton of other options in our downtown and more urban neighborhoods like Little Italy, North Park, and South Park. Now, we will not be deep diving into each of these neighborhoods in this video because there's just way too many of these little areas to mention. Now, that's something that we can do with you on a phone call, you know, a one-on-one, -on -one, where we can match up areas based on your specific interests, budget, and lifestyle. So when we look at the map, we're looking at a broader view. That way you can get a quick idea of what the different regions in San Diego have to offer. Hey, before we get started, can you do us a favor and drop a comment down below? We're curious to find out where are you moving from and what parts of San Diego are you most interested in? Now, let's get started down south. South Bay is located south of downtown and north of Mexico. and Something I love about the area is that the weather here year round is comfortable for the most part. Homes in this part of San Diego are more affordable and its freeway structure allows for easy access to the rest of San Diego. Here you got the five freeway running all the way through. Uh, you got the 805 as well and the 125 all heading north and south now along with the 54, 94, and down here, the 905 running east to west. Its biggest city is Chula Vista, and Chula Vista is actually the second largest city in the county here. Chula Vista just announced that they are remaking over and redoing the harbor area here, and they're going to put in a bayfront redevelopment project, which is going to be great. Now, over here on 3rd Avenue, you have all the local eateries and shops and everything, which are really fun to check out. There is a good mix of bungalow style properties and older homes here um, west of the 805. And on the east side of the 805, you have newer construction and newer built homes. You even have master plan communities like East Lake and Otay Ranch. So down here in South Bay, Besides Chula Vista, you have some neighboring cities. You got San Ysidro, Imperial Beach, Coronado, National City, and even Bonita. And you're gonna find a strong military presence and a lot of families down here. And that's because you have several bases right along in here. 
You're going to find the naval base, uh, 32nd Street, where they work on and repair all the ships. Further down here, where Imperial Beach starts, is the Navy SEAL training facility. And if you scoot up to Coronado here, that's where you're going to find North Island Air Station. So South Bay is a lot like other regions of San Diego, where you have a lot of shopping, a lot of recreation, golf courses, and easy freeway access to scoot around town. Now, if we move northeast a bit here, you're going to find an area that we call East County. And this is mostly suburban neighborhoods where you get a little bit more home and possibly even a larger lot for your money. Most of these neighborhoods were established and built out many years ago. One of the biggest things to note about the uh, East County here is the further east that you go, the more the temperatures fluctuate, both warmer and colder than what you would experience if you're along the coastline here. So keep that in mind. Um, the biggest freeway is the 8 that runs right through the center of East County here, but you also have some helper freeways to get you around. The 125 turns into the 94 and scoots you right into downtown. You also have the 52 to the north here. That'll get you up towards La Jolla and University City. So as far as that goes, it's pretty convenient. Um, East County is where you're going to find a lot of rolling hills and valleys, and these do eventually turn into our mountain ranges here out in the east where you can even get some snow in the winter. Our reservoir lakes are all out in this area as well. And if you stay on that 8 freeway long enough, you're actually going to end up out in the desert here. East County, along with uh, the North County inland area, is where San Diegans head for fun. You know, being outdoorsy beyond ocean activities. Stuff like hiking and freshwater fishing, mountain biking and camping. Now, the biggest city in East County is El Cajon. And this is a big valley area here. And it's surrounded by mountains on all sides. And it's pretty much the hub for this region with a ton of different dining and shopping options. You even have a mall here. So you've got a bunch of smaller cities that encompass the El Cajon area, places like Spring Valley, Rancho San Diego, and La Mesa um, to the south. Now you got Alpine over here, and Lakeside and Santee, all to the east and north. And all of these little neighborhoods all have their own shopping and restaurants and neighborhood feels. Again, this is a part of San Diego that is great. If you're looking for more affordable homes with larger lots, just as long as you know that the microclimate is going to be different than what you're going to find along the coastal regions. And I want you to double check your commute times before buying and getting your new place. From El Cajon out to downtown can take 30 minutes or so depending on traffic. Now over here, We've got the Mid-City area, which is pretty much the heart of San Diego. And you've got a ton of smaller neighborhoods right in this area. There is a great mix of condos and homes in this part of San Diego, plus a bunch of multi-unit properties for you investors. It is super centrally located. Um, most properties are older, some before, but most between like 1950 up to the 70s. Lots of bungalow style homes, you know, the classic three bedroom, two bath with a garage and a small yard. All the different areas in this part of town are basically worthy of their own video. So let's just stick with the basics here. You're about 10 to 15 minutes uh, to downtown in any part of this region right in here. Um, it's depending on traffic, of course. Now, Mission Valley is right here, and that's probably your main hub or the biggest city. You actually have the San Diego River that flows right through the middle of the valley here. And the neighboring communities are on the hillsides and, and the mesas that surround this valley region. Um, let's see, to the east and west, your freeways are the 94, and up here, the 52, and of course, 8's right in the middle. Then running north and south, you got the 5, 163, 805, 15. So that's making it way easy to 
scoot around and, and that's why people really love the area. The neighborhoods around Mission Valley are to the east, La Mesa, College area, um, City Heights, you got North and you even got South Park and Golden Hill here, of course, that's all to the south. Um, to the west, you're going to have San Diego proper, downtown area, uh, Little Italy, Hillcrest, Mission Hills, scooting over even a little bit more. You've got Point Loma right in here and Ocean Beach. We head north of the 8. You're looking at Bay Park. Mission Bay, Mission Beach, even up north here, you got Pacific Beach, along with La Jolla and University City. Now, some of the more affordable areas in this part of town are going to be right in here, where you have Claremont, Linda Vista, Sara Mesa, Allied Gardens, San Carlos, in Tierra Santa. Homes in this part of San Diego are very desirable and when we, um, at least compared to the outskirts and outlying parts like East County, South Bay, and even parts of like North County Inland, and the reason is you are way closer to the nucleus of the city right here which cuts down on your drive time and people are willing to pay for the convenience of getting around quicker and getting downtown to all the different activities, dining options, and even to the beach faster. So pretty much you name it, you can find it within a few minutes drive of the mid city region here. Now let's venture up to the North County Inland area, which sits along either side of the 15 freeway all the way up into Riverside here. Up here, you're gonna find more suburban and even rural living and traffic can get bad here <laughs> along the 15. As you can see, it's pretty much the main inlet for the area heading north and southbound. Now, you do get a little bit of relief because you have some freeways that are heading east and west. Down to the south here, you have the 52. Here's the 56. Up north, you have two more. You have the 78 and the 76. For the post part, you are going to find a lot of families here and uh, young professionals. Schools have high ratings and especially down here in the Poway School District area. This is where the bulk of new construction is going in um, and that's been going on for the past few years and this is Carmel Valley right in here. But you also have for us, Ranch right in here, Del Sur, Black Mountain Ranch, and like I said, you got Carmel Valley, Torrey Highlands, all right in here as new construction going in. And it's loaded with master plan communities. Now, you are going to find some older communities and um, older homes in areas like Scripps Ranch, Mira Mesa. Rancho Penasquitos, Poway, Carmel Mountain Ranch, and along the east side of the 15 here in Ranch Bernardo. When you move up north, Escondido, and San Marcos. Many of these areas, you're going to find homes that don't have an HOA or the fees that are associated with the new communities called Mela Ruse. But if you are along the 56 freeway here, you're going to find um, Melarus and HOA fees due to the new construction. And property here is priced pretty steep for San Diego County. Um, right about now, you're looking at anywhere from 1.5 up to 3 million. And that's due to the desirability of the area. And this area has very high school ratings too. Another reason is you have excellent access down to the tech and bio jobs down here in La Jolla and University City. All you got to do is hop on, oh, and even Serrano Valley. All you got to do is hop down the 56 here. And I also want to mention that right here 
in Ranch Bernardo is where Apple's going in. And you find some tech and bio um, companies right in there as well. Now, east of the 15, you're going to find two big cities, which are pretty much the anchor cities for this region of San Diego. This is Poway. And it is sloganed the city in the country. And it lives up to his name. <laughs> you actually have a horse trail system throughout the city. Poway is very family friendly. You have a um, very self-sustained area where you have shopping. Um, you have all types of restaurants, movie theaters, skate parks, re uh, hospital right over here. So you pretty much have everything you need for day-to-day -day living. Now, the next big city in, in this North County region is going to be Escondido. And Escondido is similar to uh, Poway where you have shopping and parks. There's even a hospital here that's kind of new. The terrain and the weather are a lot like what you're going to find in East County. And if you look at the map, you'll see, you know, this 15 kind of splits the, the county here. Everything to the east is going to be um, more fluctuation with temperature, both colder and warmer than what you're going to get on the west side of the 15. And that's part of our microclimate system. The other thing is that you find a lot of rolling hills and valleys. And those, once again, will turn into our mountain system. And if you drive out far enough, you're going to end up out in the desert. North of Escondido is very interesting and it's really unique because this is an area where it's common to have a half acre or more for a property and you'll find the hillsides are covered with avocado and citrus groves. A lot of folks will have small farms up in these areas like Valley Center, Bonzel, up here in Fallbrook which is the avocado capital of the I believe the world. <laughs> But the cool thing is, if you hop on the 15, you're still about 45 minutes to an hour to get down to San Diego. So heading west, you have the North County Coastal Area right in here. And this is all along the 5 freeway that runs north and south. You do have some east to west highways that help with getting around. You have the uh, 78, which is actually um, what we call Del Dio's Highway that will take you from Escondido and spit you out here in Solana Beach in Del Mar. There's the 56 and you have the 52. Now because because you're close to the coast, the climate's going to be much milder right in this region. And this is the most affluent part of San Diego. Folks here live out the classic SoCal beach lifestyle. Now, anything that is west of this 5 freeway, it's kind of a um, barrier is much more expensive and that's because you're sitting right along the coastline. You've got up to the north here the city of Vista. Now if you move west a little bit further you're in the city of Oceanside and this area has a strong military presence because you have Camp Pendleton right here which is a marine base. Now Oceanside has done some really great work in the past year, few years here they have absolutely revamped this area along the 101, which is the um, highway <laughs> that isn't really the 5 that runs along the coast here. And they took something that wasn't very desirable and made it uh, into an area that's now become a destination spot. People will spend their entire vacation in Oceanside hanging out there. And they do have some other big projects going in. They have a wave park and some other things, as, long, as well as some new homes going in. Now... We're heading south along the 5. Your next big city is right here. I'll scroll out a little bit so you can see. This is Carlsbad, and Carlsbad is pretty big. In fact, um, a lot of companies and moved their operations here in recent years, and um, you have some newer construction within the last 20 years or so with Breezy Ranch, a lot of master plan communities. And um, again, the vibe in this whole area is very laid back, very beachy feel to it. A lot of kids on their e-bikes and people um, going to the, to the beach all the time. You're going to find a lot of professionals with families living here, and especially along the 101. Um, a lot of restaurants and eclectic shops and 
fun things to do. Now, when you're heading south, this region right in here, where Lucadia, Encinitas, Cardiff by the Sea, and Solana Beach all meet up. When you are driving down this 101, it is actually a little bit tough to figure out where one community stops and the next one starts. But here on the east side of uh, the five is Rancho Santa Fe and Fairbanks Ranch. Think of giant estates with staffs to run them. Uh, rumor has it that Bill Gates has a place here, and you can find him at the local church choir when he's in town. We looked up the uh, listings in Rancho Santa Fe. Lowest priced property, single family home, $2.5 million, and they shoot up to $98 million from there. Ah, wow. Okay. Further down, you have the city of Del Mar, and that's all on the west side of five here. Now, what's interesting about Del Mar <laughs> is that it's less than two square miles in size. It's also a very affluent area, and um, you get a lot of traffic along the five because you have uh, Del Mar Thoroughbred Racing and the Del Mar Fairgrounds, so you have all kinds of events that are um, causing the traffic to pile up right in here along the five. Folks, living in this region of the North Cal uh, Coastal area comes with a pretty hefty price tag. Um, people pay for this lifestyle. And you better bring your patience. <laughs> if we don't run into traffic along this five freeway when we're out and about, we feel blessed. <laughs> but I'll tell you, the people that live in this area absolutely love the lifestyle. They love the eclectic neighborhoods and they would not trade it for the world. Again, comment down below where are you moving from and what parts of San Diego are you considering? We cannot wait to see that. And if you haven't yet, make sure you reach out to us. You definitely want seasoned agents on your side who know all the neighborhoods and have done the same thing as you. Move into a new area and buying homes and investment properties. So schedule a call down below in the link in the description or in that first pinned comment. Thank you for all your support, giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Hey, it's January, there's not a cloud in the sky out there and it's 70 degrees. Time to go outside and enjoy it. See you on the next video.